It was like Rosalina and Mega Man. Alright, so gonna be going game one. Uh, the Buzz versus King Arc uh, on Battlefield. We're just gonna see right now they're just like taking their time, making their taking their space and doing things pretty slowly. Uh, King Arc is trying to assess what he should do. Uh, and like, you know, Ron Rosalina is not as great as she was before, you know. Still can be formidable in the hands of a player like the Buzz. Like, it's the Buzz. Like, what are you gonna do? Okay. Yeah, so right now, fairly even percent. Uh, right now, King Arc with small lead and gonna try and push some advantage after taking out Luma. See what he can do on this edge guard. Nothing really. Goes in with the Nair and ends up eating an up smash for it. Uh, you know that up smash is still gonna be invincible. She's a Mario character. What is happening? Bro. Goodbye. Yeah, he got too spooked there. And, uh, like, spaced farther than he was comfortable. And didn't make it. Alright, so now, you know, this is a stock lead. And, like, King Arc has to, like, go in to make something happen. And the Buzz is fully aware of that, and he's going to be just punishing him and punishing him and punishing him. And here we are. Uh oh. Yeah, he's already lapped him in percent. Not looking good. Damn that. Uh, I don't know the neutral beat just like catching the spot dodge, and now we just see a two stock lead by the Buzz. Uh, King Arc definitely asking for too tall an order right now in this set. Uh, see what uh, kind of adjustments he can make, but I think I've, at this point, game one might have to just be data in like what not to do uh, for for game two. I don't want to count my boy out, but right now Deleuze is just all over him and just like controlling so much space. You saw that back air like covered like the landing, and then because he knew they was gonna roll, even if he didn't, like you just go for that jab one and he caught him. And we're just seeing like. The buzz is just not letting him get in any hits. We're almost double lapped him now. Or I guess a triple lap. Because like when you lap someone, that's a double lap, technically. But yeah, a dead even percents. Only difference are those stocks. Uh... Alright. King Arc finally going to take a stock, but I don't know. A little bit too little too late, you know? 130. Uh, Rosalina can so much as sneeze and he'll die. Mega Man looking like he's made out of plastic instead of metal. <laughs> I think that's really funny when you're charging Luma Shot, that's what it's called. When you're charging Luma Shot and it's just like a little hit just like knocks her out of it. She forgets what she's doing. Yep, the Crash Bomber will always just like auto explode on Luma. It can't latch, so I think it just like defaults to exploding. Uh oh, uh oh. Spooky times! Luma's out of here. All right, so King Arc has actually done a lot of really good adjustments and actually able to even up the percents. Now, you know, he's he's down by 200 of that percent, but, um, you know, evening out the stocks, really good job here. If he just is able to continue at this flow, he'd be fine. But, you know, finally, Devo's going to get that clean hit in and take game one. I think, you know, my, my statement earlier saying, like, that could be data. I think he got some really good data in there. So, I see what we'll get rid of. So, DeBuzz is going to get rid of uh, FD and Kalos, and we're going to Smashville. That was, like, really great comeback uh, by King Arc. It was a little bit too little too late sort of thing, but all things considered, fantastic job. 
Uh, there's also the fact that like the buzz may have gone complacent, but uh, I'm trying to hide my boy out. Well, they both pop in. Well, you know. Whatever. <laughs> One sec, I have to like tweak this match happening. Okay. Um, yeah, so actually, much better job this game, too. Uh, we definitely see there is a lot of adjustment done by King Arc here. Uh, now the percents are much more even. Uh, he's not out of it yet. Oh my god, that last hit uh, just barely missing. Uh, there was waiting in shield. Ooh, that, that has some Smash 4 vibes on that one. Okay. Okay, so, uh, you know, <sighs> King Arc down 90% under second stock, but was able to get the kill uh, much earlier than, oh no. This is like, this is game one, but like delayed a stock. <laughs> Let's see if he can make adjustments again, but I think he might have gotten a little bit too confident with how things were getting even, and kind of like fell back to like some older habits. Uh, also the fact that like the buzz didn't kill with those back airs. Uh, in the last game, so like he didn't know how to look out for it the first time, and the second time you're just like, wait, I don't really know how to look out for that yet, and he got hit caught by it again, and yeah, this is, ooh, it's not looking good. Yeah, so the buzz is going to be taking that 2-0. Uh, really good adjustment by King Arc by the end of by like mid to end of game one, but not enough. Uh, and then even better adjustment by the buzz game too. It's okay. Uh, good hustle there. Uh, just you know, re review the vod, King Arc, um, and you know, I don't know how bi how tough of a matchup that is, but obviously you did a lot of things right in, in game one and just like slowing it down the way you did. So just give it a shot. Good luck there.